is not going to jump out and you're going to jump up. work with worth it. Creation, ideas, experimentation, discovery, analysis. Anything can help you find a solution if you're willing to let go of what you feel and even think and just stop, listen and look. Don't fear your nerves, also avoid overanalyzing. Try a new one. What can we experiment with these to make things better in your life? a good card. keep going the way they have in the past. On the outside, your tried and true path may still prove to work. There's a price to be paid in stagnation and resting on one's laurels. The safe way is still not always the safe way is not always the best way. The adventurous direction should still be considered with great care. The rebel knows that breaking completely away from what is considered the average and expected and the normal does not mean leaving your values behind. What could you do today, this week or this month that is unexpected? Meanings, challenge, expression, justice, equality, creativity. That's like saying be bratty, Sarah. Be bratty. Don't forget who you are. Play. Have some fun. Challenge, expression, justice, equality. My freaking born to be bratty Instagram account got banned. I feel like this is one of those like. Let's let's put that underneath play. Look at that. So pretty. Oh, 
often we begin with the best of intentions when driving in to provide assistance in the form of a rescue, no matter how small it may be, but could a solution unfold naturally just given the time? Focus on the lessons learned in previous challenges to help you find the solutions you are seeking today. The rescue has a cool aim to service and is always selfless in their actions. They are brave, dependable and most of all honourable and they set aside any inflated sense of self-worth that those do not understand calling the calling they sadly suffer from. What are you too dependent on and how can you forage independence? Leaning in uses, self-help, solutions, dependability, honour and healing. They are brave, dependable and most of all honourable. Could a solution unfold naturally just given the time? Is like a card I got. Steadily progress. Right. right. So let's do this deck. Got eighteen one So this deck is an interesting one. It's a tune to you, so no card you pick is wrong. And we got number eighteen, which is true, let them go. Beautiful artwork. Rather than take on the pain of others, you used to think it was because you're an empath, but these days you're not too sure. Sometimes it feels like other people are emptying their emotions into you, giving you nothing in return. Sometimes we even feel inherited, or we've even inherited pain from those who come before us in our family tree. Generational trauma. This is your permission to let go. To let go. Your life is ultimately about you, not what other people expect you to carry for them. First reading I did, I got this card. Let your past go. Let them go. Happens, it's happened quite a few times actually, like sink and loss was to see, can't say it. The next card is Princess. Princess is great. Well, I get this a lot, I get this a lot, and it's great because what it's what I believe. I'm a princess. List number one, you can be your own knight. Remind me what I am. You may be in desire, or you may be in a dire situation you need escaping from. Rest assured, you always have the power within you to preserve. Persevere. How did I read that wrong? You already know you don't need to be rescued by a charming prince. This is like saying you know your power, you don't need saving, stop getting jealous. You've got your own shield and a sword and God's to help anyone who thinks they can do a better job. God's help, oh, God's help anyone who thinks they can do a better job, okay. That's a great card in the deck I've got at the moment. And the one I got was 33, and I've been seeing threes everywhere recently is nostalgia you're spending the majority of time daydreaming wondering what could have been 
if only things had gone the way you wanted. By doing this, you aren't giving yourself a fair chance. The truth is, there's nothing that you could do to change what happened, no matter how many scenarios you craft in your mind. Make improvements to your present, not your imaginary. Make sure to nurture what you've been given. So that's kind of like a let it go, focus on the now, be grat grateful for what you've got, focus on the now, and that goes hand in hand with this card, let them go, like that's literally, if you were to read just these two cards, that is a good reading, let your past go, on the here and now you can do it do we do this one no the rescuer 11 page 11 yeah that's oracle roses deck did this one. I think help you find a solution. Don't fear the unknown, but avoid all lines of violence. Oh, because it goes with those two cards. Okay. Basically, I did a massive reading to understand all my card decks, because I haven't been feeling very connected to my new decks. Which is this one. Kind of a Ricky light. So I wanted to see what I'd get if I did across the board a reading for me now, because my energy is off. And I got a very interesting reading. I got this card, which I had seen now for like three weeks straight. And it's not even like it's like flipped up anywhere that I catch myself up. I just keep getting this card. <laughs> And then I also got Listen, Quiet Your Mind, which I'm going to take as meditation. Because it talks about manifestation and I'm not manifesting anything apart from healing. So I'd like to see this as Listen, Be Mindful in Your Area. Which then goes with this card, Princess, you can do it. And where's that other one? Let us on the here and now. Because those cards go well together. Then we got the Let Your Past Go card, along with this one. So that goes to show that my card deck is attuned. And then the last card I got the angel deck a steady process progress and I agree which goes well with this card which means again my card decks are attuned and this was the bratty card which I feel like goes with play because that's my inner team and then the last bit we have the scientist which, which was this one again like explore wasn't it like what can you experiment to make things better in your life I like that that gives you a good think what can you experiment I'm going to put that under play think then. And then from this deck we got 
to hands with life, do something to change your energy, and uh, definitely bestie, my energy is off. Do something to change your energy, which I'm going to put into play, and like, focus on the here and now, manifestation, and focus on the here and now, meditation, change your energy. And then the last card is Deep Replenishment, Retreat, Rest, Be Held. And just before I did this reading, I was thinking about doing the meditation that talks about being held where you are to be grounded. So when I thought about this, I thought about med meditation, which also works with this card and goes with my deck. Here, of meditation, focus on the here and now. And you can do this, princess. But just to check in the guidebook what this means. Deep replenishment. The most selfless, selfless thing you can do is fill up your your own inner well. When we are running around on half filled, we subconsciously look to things and people around us that give us not nourishment and nurturing that we so deeply crave. Uh, this is a um, connection, connection card. Fill up your own inner well. Love yourself. That's just the vibe I'm getting. Love yourself. You're no good to anyone if you're running on empty. Tend to your own well and watch as the amount you have to give multiplies. If your inner well isn't full, you will find yourself craving things from the outside world to fill it. So like if you feel lonely, you could work within yourself to help you gain that because naturally what we will do is, is go externally to try and fix that we will look for what we crave if we're hungry we'll go and eat this is about inner strength and self love believing in yourself changing your energy What nourishes you? What refuels your body? What is the nectar of your soul? What brings you back to life? What is your secret medicine? Play. Embracing your inner self. Oh well. That is a smack in the face. That means play. Love yourself for your inner self. Okay, let's do... Dance with life. Life is always moving. If you resist this ever-changing flow, your energy will become stagnant and you will fall out of flow with the universe. The universe has a mysterious, intelligent force, a natural, rhythmic beat which governs all of life. One of the best ways to shift your energy, frequency and vibration is to put, your, put on some music and dance along with it. Do something to change your energy. When we dance unrestrained, our spirit takes over. Okay, that's pretty weird actually, because I was thinking about dancing today. Do something to change your energy. Be happy, play some music. You're literally, the universe is telling me, change my energy, listen to some music, dance. Play, deep nourishment, play, brass, do something new, it all comes down to this and I knew it, I knew it, let your past go,
listen, focus on the here and now, do meditation, steady progress, you are getting somewhere, believe in yourself. Yeah, all my cards are attuned. That is great to see. <laughs> Thanks for watching. I guess you've just basically watched myself figure things out within my card deck, so...